Please give a warm welcome to Pastor Mark Burns. And let his words go to God's ears, and then the ears of the people of the great United States of America to give us inspiration, guidance, and the power and stamina to save this world. Thank you so much. Wow. Hello, South Carolina. Wow, I'll tell you, it's so good to be here at home. It's so good to be here at home. I'm just so blessed to be able to go all over the country uh, speaking on the behalf of our president, Donald J. Trump. Aren't you happy that we elected Donald Trump to be the 45th president of the United States of America? Yeah. South Carolina, I said, aren't you happy we elected Donald Trump to be the 45th president? of the United States of America. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm so tired. And I don't know if, 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 if you're walking up this morning. Hello, Olga, how are you doing? I don't know if you woke up this morning, but I'm going to make sure you woke up. Is that okay? You know, because we are here on a movement for America, and we are taking America back from liberal, racist Democrats that are trying to do whatever they can to divide our nation. And we are the solid majority who is solid no more. If you believe it, say yes. yes. Aren't you happy that we are taking America back again? We're taking it back. But I'm tired. I'm really tired, South Carolina, of liberals and Democrats, they're trying to give all the credit to President Barack Obama for the great things that our President Donald Trump is doing. It, it, it vexes me, it bothers me when I, 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 I see people, John, I'm happy to see you, I see uh, people who, who, who are trying to give credit for the success of President Donald Trump, and they're trying to blame Barack Obama. So, so every time you start talking about the good things that Donald Trump is doing within the first year, and having our president had an amazing first year as president of the United States of America. Come on now, South Carolina. I need to hear you. I need to really hear you. We've got to let everybody know that we are excited here in South Carolina. But, but they're trying to give credit to Obama for the things that President Trump is doing. Like the fact that the unemployment rate is at an all-time low because President Trump is bringing jobs back to our nation. And that's why President Trump overly won, won greatly in America because he was talking about bringing jobs back to America. And liberals, they want to distract us by using race-baiting antics to try to distract us to get us focusing on issues that really don't matter to our country. They want to have you focusing on race. Are you woke out there, South Carolina? They want to have you focus on race and division and having us fighting each other, not focusing on the success that our president has had within the first year. Let me tell you, President Trump has done more for America in one year than President Barack Obama did in eight years as president of the United States of America. If you believe it, shout yes. This is why the mainstream media spends more time talking about our president saying, or allegedly saying, asshole, than focusing on the fact that our country is experiencing 
some of the greatest economic boosts that it has ever had in a very long time. Yes, yes. And I'm tired of it. If you're tired of it, say, I'm tired. Shout, I'm tired. Tired of this mainstream mess that is keeping us focusing on the colors that divide us and we're not focusing on the colors that unite us. And what bothers me the most is we have liberals, Joe, and I want to tell you, we should give Joe an amazing hand clap for what he's doing in the South Carolina Tea Party. Come on, can we really give Joe an amazing hand clap? What a wonderful job. Because the Tea Party is really what helped elect Donald Trump to be the president of the United States of America. I wish I could get some help from the Tea Party in the room tonight. Because we all know that, that the established Republican Party didn't want to have anything to do with Donald Trump. But it was the true liberal, it was the true real Republicans, it was the true patriots of America called the liberal, the, 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 the Tea Party that really helped elect Donald Trump. If you believe me, say yes. yes. But the mainstream media wants to spend more time talking about the division and, and the very fact that our president still have to defend the fact that he's not a racist is preposterous to me because they do that because they understand that if we can be focusing on racial divisions and racial antics and division in our nation that we won't ever celebrate the fact that the African American unemployment rate is at a history all time low in the history of the unemployment rate. They don't want to talk about that. The fact that the child, the, 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 the Dow keeps breaking records in America. It keeps breaking records. Every time you see the news, they're breaking records. Why? Because Donald Trump loves Americans. He loves Americans. He is focusing on Americans. And I, I don't know if you've seen the, this interview that I just did with Joy Reid from MSNBC. Did anybody see that? It, yes, nobody said, no, we didn't watch it. No, we don't watch MSNBC. You know, J J J Joe said, you know, it's not his fault. Well, guess what? Somebody got to get up there and say the truth. Somebody got to get up there and tell the truth on MSNBC. <laughs> Taking the bullets. Listen, I'll take the bullets for America. I'll take the bullets for America. Listen, America have no idea what it has unleashed in the name of Mark Burns. They have no idea. Because you can knock me down. You can, Steve Bannon said, Pastor, you are a rock. He said, no matter what they throw at you, you are a rock. Why? Because I believe in America. And I believe in the Make America Great Again agenda. That's designed that all Americans be prosperous in our country because racism is really not about color. Racism is about the haves and the have nots. And if you can, and, and guess what? Because poverty knows no color. Poverty don't care whether you're black or whether you're white or whether you're brown or whether you're yellow. Poverty don't care. Because I discovered that what happens in poor black communities happens in poor white communities. And so it's not about race. Y'all not talking back to me, South Carolina. But it's not about color. It's about economic empowerment. Which is why Donald Trump is not going to focus on color politics. Because he understands that color politics doesn't add one dollar to your bank account. If you believe this, shout yes. yes. It adds not one dollar to your bank account. It adds not one, not, not one job to your, to your future. It, it, it creates nothing for your future. He says, I'm going to deregulate taxes I'm going to deregulate corporate entities that is forcing our businesses to leave America to go over to other countries and create wealth from them I'm going to destroy that so that we can bring jobs 
back to America so that we can raise the economic environment of all Americans. Somebody shout all Americans. Somebody shout all Americans. And there's prosperity for all of us. This is what he's doing. Because it doesn't matter what color you was born with here in America. The only colors that matter in America is the red, white, and the blue. Yeah, yeah I wish I had some help in here in South Carolina. <laughs> y'all didn't mess up by bringing me here to the tea party, y'all. Y'all have no idea what's about to happen here in the great state of South Carolina. There's a revival that's about to take place, and it's going to spread throughout this great nation. Aren't you happy we elected a man in Donald Trump who believes in the name of Jesus Christ? Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? He does. He loves God. But Joy Reid on MSNBC, she tries to say, focus on the fact that she thinks or they said, the president said, asshole. And in the moment that came out, I got on the phone. And I talk to the highest level of authority you can in the White House, the highest level. When I say the highest level, I'm just going to say the highest level. And I was said, the president did not say what they said he said. They did not say, he did not speak like that. But, but they're on there talking about whether he's calling these countries assholes. And, and, and she talked about why we should not be sending immigrants back to their nations. And I'm thinking back to their country. And I'm thinking, how, I'm like, how, how really messed up is that? You're focusing, as she, said, she, said, she said, we should not be sending people back to their countries. And I said, and I said listen, first of all, the president did not say uh, as hold. He didn't say that. Um, secondly, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, the president uh, is the president of the United States of America. And I said, it is, it, is the, it is the obligation of the president of the United States of America uh, to be focused on the citizens of the United States of America. That's his focus. His focus is the citizens of the of the citizens of the of the United States. And she said, well, Pastor Mark, you know how liberals always try to quote the Bible like they know what they're talking about, you know. And she and she said, well, what what doesn't the Bible say to love thou neighbor? And I said, Joy, we love thou neighbors billions times more than they love us. Because we send billions upon billions upon billions of dollars to those third world countries. And I say, if the president said asshole, he wasn't talking about the people. He was talking about those, 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 those leaders who take that money and they put it into their pockets and it never reaches the people. And I said, Joy... How in the world are you going to talk to me about love thou neighbor? How about let's first start love thou unborn baby first? <laughs> you know, how we, John, how are we going to talk about love thou neighbor when nobody's speaking for the unborn babies? And how in the world do black lives matter when black baby lives don't matter? I wish I had some help in the room tonight. It's a fact. It's a fact. The number one cause of death in the African American community is abortion. It's abortion. And you want to sit here and try to make me to believe that black lives matter, that is a falsehood, it is divisive. It's amazing how, how politicians and, and reporters want to consistently talk about how divisive our president is, when in reality, they are the divisive, they are the racist, they are the, 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 the division of our country. It amazes me how liberals do that, and Senator Durbin, who was in that meeting with Senator Lindsey Graham. 
who was in that meeting, and 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 and, and you know, he, 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 Senator uh, Durbin stated that President Trump said what he said, and and this is the sad part. This is the mentality of Democrats and liberals, because the report just came out a couple of days ago that Senator Durbin said this, and I quote, that he is working full time for DACA illegal aliens. Full time. This United States senator is working full time for DACA illegal aliens. Liberals seem to be fighting harder for immigrants instead of fighting for American citizens. Isn't it sad that it feels like that, that, that these American senators are more concerned with the status of illegal immigrants than the status of legal citizens here in the United States of America? I'm tired of it. If you're tired of saying, I'm tired of it. Shut, I'm fed up. Shut, I'm fed up. I'm fed up with this mess. I'm fed up with this mess. This is what they're trying to do. This is what they're trying to divide us with. And liberals are going so far to say they're sending home, and you may have heard of it, they're sending home little slips, John, to students at home in elementary school to declare that because our Pledge of Allegiance says under God, that they do not have to say the Pledge of Allegiance. How do you feel about that, South Carolina? I mean, this is horrible. This is, this is anarchy at its core. That they are creating future citizens of America that are not really loyal to the citizens of the United States of America. This is danger to the future of our country. This is why the Tea Party is so important. Because your voice don't shut up. They try to shut you up, but you don't shut up. They try to tell you you're crazy, but you don't shut up. They try to divide you, but you don't shut up. Y'all not talking to me, Tea Party. They try to keep you quiet, but you don't stop. And the harder they hit you, you hit them back twice as hard. But they're telling these children that they do not have to declare the Pledge of Allegiance. But I'm so proud to declare to you here, South Carolina, in my own state, the greatest state in the Union, South Carolina. Aren't you proud to be a South Carolinian? I'm here to declare to the world that Mark Burns is proud to declare that I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless you. God bless you, South Carolina. I'm proud to be an American. You be proud to be an American. I love you. And before I take my seat, before I take my seat, I got a special surprise for you. I got a dear friend all the way from the UK. He's one of the most famous intellectual, one of the most brightest politicians in all of the UK. And he is here in the great state of South Carolina. So America, show your love for my friend from the BBC, Ed Balls. Ed, get up here quickly. Y'all give him a big American. Quickly. Come on, America, show Ed Balls some love. Come on out.